creativity and entrepreneurship are increasingly combined. Because there's creativity in the creative industries, of course, and elsewhere. So what do we mean by creativity? Let's be clear. I think the word is a problem word because for so many people, it implies only some kind of artistic creativity. So you get people saying, I'm not creative, me. They will say because they're not very good at art or music or dancing. But the same people are incredibly creative when it comes to problem solving or thinking outside the box, if you want to use that cliche, or just doing things differently, innovating in everyday life and in other kinds of businesses. So at a TEDx um, event in Napoli, I gave a talk and I propose that we have two different words for creativity. A creativity using the letter A to indicate artistic creativity of all kinds, whether it's literature, music, fine art, theater, dance, etc. And we all know what that is. That's the common usage of the word creativity. But we should recognize the other kind of creativity too. And I propose a word I creativity using the letter I for ingenuity. And this is a kind of creativity we find in all fields of human endeavor, in healthcare, in education, in agri agriculture, in banking, in law, and in warfare. It's everywhere. So I think it becomes clearer how we can use these two kinds of creativity. A creativity meaning artistic and I creativity for a broader kind of, of creativity that's everywhere in the world. And in the creative industries, we can use both. We can use A creativity in the studio when we create our music or animations or designs or whatever. But we could also use I creativity in the business office. And this is about the way we do business. We can apply I creativity to our business methods, whether it's contracts or collaborations, marketing, all kinds of things can be done differently and more creatively on the business side of things. So let's look at creative marketing outside the creative industries. Well, what does marketing mean? That's another word with different meanings. And I would say that there is strategic marketing, which are the big decisions about which markets to go for, which ones to ignore, etc., and how you fit in the marketplace. These are the big strategic issues of marketing. But I guess here we're talking about marketing communications um, or operational marketing and how we can apply creativity to that. Certainly we could be more creative about how we target. We have technology at our disposal as well so that we can micro target our messages to particular niches or sub niches um, within the marketplace. And of course we can be more creative shall we say artistically creative about the style and content of our communications, promotions and advertisements. So, you know, we see massive amounts of creativity in TV adverts, posters, YouTube, social media. And you might say that advertising is a creative industry's success. Advertising is one of the subsectors of the creative industries and Yes, um, it's hugely creative in what it does. And, but at the same time, you know, all kinds of businesses do advertising, even if they're not creative businesses. So in, the terminology is overlapping, shall we say, and there are different aspects of creativity in marketing and communications in all sectors of the economy. And I think also in terms of creativity and entrepreneurship, we see that people are increasingly buying intangibles, experiences, stories, not just the physical product or the direct service. And in that sense, um, we are increasingly selling culture in its very widest sense, not just um, theatre, museums and art as culture, 
but culture in the sense of people's sense of belonging, their experiences, their everyday lives, and what they're buying from us, which is um, you know, a, huge, a huge area in itself. And within that, you know, consumers want to be creative too. They want to participate. They're not just passive targets for us as creatives to sell to because consumers are creative and want to be involved in the creative process. So I would say that in conclusion, that creativity and entrepreneurship are increasingly intertwined and interconnected and I think they will be forever and we need to take advantage of this is as creative entrepreneurs to combine our creativity with entrepreneurship for our own enterprises but recognize that that's a phenomenon happening throughout the world.